Okay, so what does it look, what does this, because he said violent, what does this violent reaction look like? So my guess is he's thinking about when you throw these group one metals into water. So Uh, we've seen this with sodium before, if you've Googled that. Love love me some sodium and water. Right. Oh my gosh. So so you can cut it with a knife, Mm -hmm. the metal, cut Mm -hmm. it with a knife, toss it in water, it basically blows up. Yeah, definitely. definitely But but that's reacting with water. It is. Or is it the dissolved oxygen that it's reacting with? It's the same process that's happening. It's the electrons being pulled from the group one metal. Got it. All right. Yeah, All and right. then it's a, it's an exothermic process, like you said, so yeah. that will ignite when you throw it in water. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, okay. But the other part of the questions you asked about, like, what are some things that people might not know about that cesium? Right, right. And so the a cesium-133, I think, is used for an atomic clock. And so what happens is you basically disturb these atoms, they give off a frequency, and you can use that frequency to, de- to measure time. And how, and how are you exciting the atoms? So it's, that... it's a disturbance, so usually it's like a push. It's, you want to get it to vibrate, and so right. it's just you just have to move it a little bit. And that that frequency is then mapped out to keep track of time, and it's so. So is it so consistent steady? that yes, it's consistent. you can easily use it? You can set a clock by it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> exactly. In fact, the duration of the second is defined by how many cycles of the cesium. 